I'm here guys back with a new vlog and today there's some really bad news. Um one of the kind of something related to FINRA but not quite. Uh, as you can tell here I separated them. I was kinda of looking for some reason to separate them and some reason not to separate them, but mostly I was looking for reason to separate them. And this one is definitely one of them because my female She's kind of um, sh um, shamed of herself because put her in here and now she just shamed herself because she lost this chance to be with another male. Um, basically, she bullied my fish or basically what I say, um, bullied him more like she got into a fight with him and she won. Basically, she, the male didn't do anything to her. I believe it happened over the night. Um, she's over here in the corner right there. I think you can see her right there. But, um, yes. Sorry, my parents are talking. So, I'm trying to speak really loudly, but... Right there, that's my female. Um, and she bit my male several times. Um, I think I know why this happened. Last time I was reading my betas, my last male, Max, bit her, but it was only a little bite. It wasn't that huge. So, you know, and she probably thinks it's the same person, so she just really wanted to get back at him. But, she, um, I don't think she realized it. It's a different male this time. So, I probably think that's why she bit him, but it's terrible. It's just terrible. And the moment I finally released the divider, like, after I took her out, he, like, swam up. Like, he quickly fell, sw swam up and um, started to breathe. Um, because he hasn't been going up lately, and I've been kind of quite nervous about that. And I haven't been able to see the bite that he, um, she gave him. Um, so I just put her in yesterday and I had to separate her into this little aquarium with a heater right there. So here she is. She did turn more pale because she turned really dark when I put her with another, you know, um, fish. But yes. It has no lid. I do, it does have a lid. It's kind of messy right there. But um, it doesn't fit because of the plan just sticking out in this. But I'm not worried that she won't jump out because usually I've had her like this and she doesn't really jump out. And it's not that high up. It just fell up to there. Have an air stone. My air stone also helps um, clean some of the bacteria in there and you know like all algae and stuff like that. It helps that because basically all the bacteria get stuck to the stone. So that's actually really good. Mostly why I have it. But. See, this is my air stone. Kind of like it all the way back here. Um. But yeah, that's basically what happened. She was a bully. And that's weird because my females usually aren't aggressive to my male. Usually they really want to breed. And she did look like she was very interested in the male and even showed it. But I think um, she kind of lost control. And I had to do a treatment to him. And here it is the water so i just put him back in the tank hopefully i'll get better um so yeah that's all i have to say i'll see you next time and i'll keep you updated on my mail so here oh thank god thank god my mail is not at the bottom he's at the top so i don't know if you can see it but yeah look at that some bad fins are ripped trying to get to see him really good Cameron's not really focusing. Okay. Camera doesn't really like to focus. Oops. Well. Oops, sorry. 
<laughs> I have a lot of pictures in here of dogs and something. But <laughs> ignore that. That are some of my folders from this year that I don't need anymore. Also, I'm going to do a separate video on how to make your own care guide book using some stuff. Um, but this is just one of them. It's on goldfish. So, yes. I'm not quite done because I need more of these plastic things to um, cover for them. And some paper to write inf new information I learned. But, yeah, guys, that's it. I'll see you next time and keep you updated on him. Bye.